All right, number 32 is very similar to a previous problem of sequencing, but this time I've asked for specific rotation of a particular structure. So we are going to start this from ethylene, but what I want to get is 2R, 3R, 2 chloropentane. All right, so I got to draw that out and I have a chlorine here and a chlorine here, and I got to figure out their wedges. So I have high priority is definitely that first chlorine. This has B2 because it's a carbon with chlorine that has B3. So we are going to go clockwise. All right, so get rid of that pink stuff. And I'm going to make this a wedge. All right, on this other one, high priority, next, next. So we are also going clockwise. So that is also a wedge. All right, down below here, I'm going to end up drawing a Fisher diagram of this as well. So we can see both of these ways of doing this. And um, I'm going to do the same type of thing and try to figure out where the um, chlorine is supposed to go. So if it's over here, I'd have this top rotation going clockwise. But I don't want that there because this would be an H. So I'm going to change that and put this chlorine over here. That'll give me a 1, 2, 3 rotation, which is counterclockwise, which is what I want. Alright, if I... Uh, try that same thing here, put this as a chlorine, I'd have a rotation going clockwise. But H is on the side, so I actually also want to reverse that, putting this as a chlorine. All right, um, from the Fisher diagram, a little bit easier to see perhaps, that this is an anti-addition across of a double bond, which is what chlorine does if I'd happen to start out with a double bond. All right, to make sure it is the right double bond to do that anti like it is, I need that CH3 down and this down because that is how we actually um, imagine fissures are actually drawn. So I had to do that with a, um, a cis. And if that was done from a cis, I know I could have made that from an alkyne. And I could have done this with um, uh, hydrogen with Linyard's catalyst. And two steps to do this from our alkyne. Uh, we do sodium amide followed by CH3Cl and sodium amide followed by ClCH2CH3. All right. From that perspective drawing, it's also possible to see what's going on here. But what I'm going to do is actually just do a confirmational rotation of this thing first. Because I want us to realize that the only way I can put two chlorines on is from an alkene like we did here. So I do know that I'm going to need to do chlorine. But what I need you to remember is that actually does anti. So I need to change this to a confirmer that has one of the chlorines as a wedge and one of them as a dash. So to do that, I'm actually going to rotate this top position because that will leave this chlorine wedged. But as I rotate this bond, I'm going to be this bond, that wedge chlorine would become a dash. Now what that rotation shows us is that I need a cis looking rotation, which is how I end up right where we did down below with a cis confirmation of said molecule.
And then the previous steps are the same as they were we found down below. It's just that we could have actually figured this out from a Fisher or a perspective diagram.